Hello, everyone. Welcome to Media Pool. I'm Min Qi Zhu. This semester, the assessment of our viral video module is producing two videos in group of our clients, Kolu and Scotty Press. In this video, I will self-reflectively discuss my two group videos combined with following series: Bloom's Taxonomy, Kaisenbach and Smith's Team Performance Curve. Tuckman's liner model of team development, Berger's steps flying work, Nehen and Hemsley's viral life cycle, and the video is divided into four sections to evaluate my study life in this semester: client approaching, teamwork, viral theory in video production and promotion, active learning. Firstly, client approaching. Contacting with clients is an important communication skill in this semester and the further career life. We got two distinguished clients for our group video. Kolu is a digital business app in smartphone, which uses digitalized local currency for payment in independent shops. The client wanted a short advertising video to show the convenience and the benefits of using this app. And to raise the awareness of local brand. On the other hand, Scott Press is the longest-running community newspaper in Britain. Joe prefers a detailed research documentary video about its history to encourage new young generation audience and to engage more volunteers for the press. The new media of Scott Press, such as its digital newspaper presence website. Instagram and the Twitter are also supposed to be promoted in our video. The avant-garde and the modern style of Kolu contrast with the conservative tone of Scott Press. Therefore, we needed to understand these two different clients' taste in different ways. Both of my groups did in-depth research of clients. My Scotty Press group members researched clients individually before first meeting. As Len and the Trumpstock study, more and better ideas can appear in individual brainstorming than group brainstorming. So we firstly thought independently and then shared ideas together in the meeting. Higher quality and quantity ideas were put forward, and my group selected them according to client style and brief. However, the communication with client occurred problems in the following work. The interviewee Scotty Press recommended for us never reply us, and because of Joe's busy work, he can't respond us on time. Therefore, my Scott Press group conducted Plan B that used animation to replace interview part, so that Olivier, who was responsible for Lazen job, actively contacted with Joe for voice over narrator rather than interviewees. After finish this video, Joe required some change within the video, and I also meet clients' advice. Among the work in this year, I touched the communication with clients beyond the compass, which is useful for my further career life. Two, teamwork. Before the start of this semester, teamwork was the biggest challenge I think I would face in viral video module. I needed to engage in two groups for different style video production. Kolu video is a more creative work, while Scott Press focusing on historical and the documentary style. From my perspective, two of my groups are both produce high quality video via effective teamwork. The teamwork theory from Kasabah and Smith gives us not only a guide about how to conduct effective and cohesive teamwork, but also a Criterion to evaluate our work. The teamwork performance curve described high performance teams' characteristic as common purpose and the mutual accountability, personal success, contribution to accomplishment. 
continuous learning, trust, and respect. And the most important factor is that team has members who are also de- deeply committed to one another's personal growth and success. I think both of my teams accord with the high performance team. Because within the team, I am so appreciate that my team members taught me many things beyond the academic series. For instance, Jordan and Olivia's effective self-management influenced me, so I learned from them to organize my document at a time, which helped my personal development. My group members also trust and believe each other, and effectively communicated with each other. We shared all the email from clients and tutor for information exchange, and mutually helped for problems. The direct evidence for our effective group work is that my A1 groups have eight meetings, and the B4 has nine meetings within this semester. Most of us attend every meeting and clearly record meetings. According to Chuckman's liner model. Four stage consists of team's development sequence: forming, storming, knowing, and performing. From theories to practice, both of my groups initially finished and evaluated the work personality questionnaire and made assumption about future role assignment. And we also discussed together about the work we produced last semester. Shared what is the point that we think most helpful in our formal video production. Analyzed individual strengths or weakness. It reflects the forming stage of model. Orientation accomplished primarily through testing. And the work is our storming phase in which some conflict. And the polarization about interpersonal issue appears. In the third stage, previous resistance can be overcome. I'm so appreciated that because of the good communication and everyone's strengths, groups cohesiveness develops via intimate and personal opinions communication in problem solving. And our coherent work assists the task performance. Finally, created the two brilliant videos in group. Thanks to the great teamwork and the relationship, when problems appeared, my Scotty Press team overcame it and even achieved better results. As mentioned above, the interviewee recommended by Scotty Press never reply our email, which delayed our video production plan. As the limitation of time, my group decided to change the video plan and use animation made by After Effects instead of the interview part. Three viral theory in video production and promotion. In the video production and promotion. We all use the viral series learned from last semester to catch more audience attention. As Nehong and Hamsley claim, the structure and the context of information is the primary element to influence audience engagement. As such, the way we detailed our video context and the structure referred to Berger's steps framework. My colleague group. Oriented the fun, friendly, and fast-paced tone of the video to express a relaxed emotion, and emphasize the practical value that viewers can identify a range of shops use Kolu, and a sense of local community which can be assessed by audience if they choose to use the Kolu could be considered as social currency among local Liverpool people. On the other hand, my Scotty Press team tried to encourage engagement by story and emotion. The real history of Scotland Road and emotion provoked by timeline animation may impress audience. And the obvious chronological structure of the video is intelligible for viewers to watch. In video production phase, 
my two groups use the different strategy to attract audience. In Colo group, our team member appeared on the screen as the challenger to create a relaxed, active atmosphere. Because Guo, King, and Rubin's research found that our face, good eye contact, interaction with audience, and the informal style can achieve better engagement. We imitate the structure and style of reality show with bright color to make our viewers feel comfortable and close. However, my Scott Press group make our video viral with the help of celebrity endorsements. Our voiceover is Roger Phillips, the radio presenter at BBC Radio Merseyside. His reputation helps the promotion and the dissemination of our video. Moreover, the animation style of our Scott Press video imitated the Western philosophy series made by Mad Adam Films. In terms of the color choice, we selected bright yellow because the distinct and the nostalgic style can impress viewers at the first time. Our effort works and both of our group video gain good viewer account. For the Kolu Challenge video, it reveals 304 viewers, 18 likes, 2 comments, 7 shares, and again 2 subscribers within 1 week. The YouTube analytics shows that 81% of viewers were located in the UK with a small number of viewers from Israel, Germany, and Canada. 39% of audience came from external traffic source. Most of them click into video from Facebook and Twitter. My Scotty Press video achieved about 15 more engagement, but 129 less views. The metrics indicate it gained 175 views, 23 likes, 9 comments, and 11 shares until 9th of May. And according to the statistics, 94% of viewers were located in the United Kingdom and only 2.3% of them from Taiwan. 46 of viewers clicked into the video from external source, including 50% from Facebook and 30% from Twitter. The demographic fits our common target audience, young local people, and the traffic source implied that our video promotion plan worked because the main source came from social media. Both of my group made a clear social media promotion plan and especially Scott Press Group. Considering that the historical content of Scott Press may not interest the young audience within our strong ties, we plan a long promotion duration in Twitter and Instagram and try to engage more people in our weak ties who can help our video hop from one social media group to another. Some short version of video or preview trailer were also prepared, which functioned well before the whole video uploaded. When judging the viral life cycle of these two videos, the Scotty Press video is a more fitting example according to Nehan and Hamsley's model. It reached the peak after a steady incline time, and slowly decreased to a bottom. Then it increased again for revival in its afterlife. However, the Kolu video's peak appeared at the beginning and has a stepper decaying phrase. As the life cycle can embody the information diffusion and the promotion strategy, the Scotty Press's gentle curve may result from the long-range promotion before uploading 
while Colo's first day highest view may be caused by the concentrated social media promotion in the first uploaded day. Learning. For concluding this semester's learning, I will evaluate how active learning influences my study method and self-development. Bloom's taxonomy, created in 1956, aroused the attention of higher form of thinking in education, such as analysis, evaluation, and creation, rather than rote learning. As the high engagement of creative work, the viral video module often encourages our higher form of thinking for active learning. The theory that we need to remember in this module occupies small part of the teaching, and the students should apply, analyze, evaluate, and create most of content. For example, the portfolio and video essay made for last semester essentially encourage us to evaluate and analyze ourselves whole semester work from creative standpoint. And the instructional video for Video Geek is a good example of creating. Through the learning, I realized the importance of autonomic study. So that I self studied the software skill beyond the class to expand my IT ability. The teamwork in this semester developed my communication, organization, planning skills by learning from my team members and active learning. These abilities are really helpful for my career and life planning and I will try to combine the knowledge from this module with my further study of digital media and education.